morning, the president made a statement at a NATO meeting in Poland, essentially blaming guns. He said, quote, when people are armed with powerful weapons, it makes attacks like these more deadly. Let's take it to nationally syndicated talk show host Leslie Marshall. Leslie, what do you think? Well, I don't think that he just blamed this on the situation. I think this is part of the problem in the situation. And I think that we're all uh, naive, in a sense, uh, to not see that we have a problem. And the problem is with division. The problem is with hate. The problem is wait, with race. Wait, who's we? Uh, who's problem, we? Who's, the pro the problem minute, is with fear. Who's, who's this nation. We? Wait, this on. nation. Wait, we, we the United we States. The entire, all of, everybody in the United States is naive. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm saying that if we don't look at the multifaceted problem and approach this with a multifaceted uh, solution, then I think we're being naive. It, it is partially guns, and it's not just guns. It is partially race. It is partially the need for this uh, division between law enforcement who are clearly there to serve and protect and to communities, especially in the African-American community, where they feel that is not the case, where their perception, which is their reality, is not what we're seeing in the majority of situations like we saw in Dallas last night. Those police officers standing there as bullets were being uh, thrown at them, shot at them, to protect the others around them uh, from being harmed doing their job. Paul Ryan saying, avoid to fight divisive rhetoric. Uh, you know, we've got analysts saying the president is responsible for a lot of the divisive rhetoric. What do you make of that? No, I think, uh, quite frankly, I think we we do a great job with divisive rhetoric without this president or whoever is president. We've been doing it on our own and we do especially do it during an election year. Uh, we hear it from b both sides, uh, both presumptive uh, nominees. And quite frankly, I have to say, um, I was very pleased when I just heard uh, Mr. Ryan and Ms. Pelosi uh, speaking uh, in a unified manner and, and not in a political partisan manner. Um, I have to say I was prouder to be an American okay. in the past few minutes just hearing that. All right, Leslie Marshall, radio talk show host. Thank you for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it.